Well, guys, another trade deadline is gone. And many teams have gotten better, including teams like the Padres, of course. The Reds. And those are just two I can name off the top of my head. The Tigers did not get better. The Tigers did not get better whatsoever. They actually got worse. You're seven of a rebuild, and we get worse at the trade at the trade deadline. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, we only made two deals on Mon or uh, Tuesday night. Um, after the game in Minnesota, Tigers traded Robbie Grossman to Atlanta for Chris Anglin. Anglin, he is a 20 year old left handed pitcher from the Braves system. Um. He's only 20 years old and he's he's in single A, but he has a three and five record with a 5.43, actually 5.93 ERA this season. That's not good. That is, that's awful. What's the point of trading for? What's the point of trading for somebody who might be on, who might make the big league roster one day? Who might? Not someone who will. Who might? Those are his words. We got pieces who will might who might make an impact. No, you get pieces who will make an impact. That's garbage. The second trade was uh, we traded Michael Fulmer to the Twins for uh, Sawyer Gibson Long, and he is twenty four. Is not even a top thirty prospect in the Twins organization. And he has a 7 ERA this season. A 7. That is terrible. Terrible. Yes, Fulmer was on an expiring contract. He was a free agent after this year and probably wouldn't have came back. But I don't see the point in trading him just to trade him. That's not how this works. You don't trade people just to trade people. You trade people who are going to make an impact. This Sawyer guy is not ever going to pitch for the Tigers. Ever. He was ranked 36th in the, in the, in the twin system. He's a 7 ERA. You can't fix that. You're not going to fix that. We're not good enough to fix that. Our organization is garbage. From the top down, garbage. But no, we just trade to trade. Trade to do something. But he didn't like the packages or deals for Gregory Soto or Joe Jimenez. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The best we get are two pitchers. The system is full, or this organization is full of pitchers. We have no bats. Torkelson and Green are our only hitters that are even close to the big leagues, are in the big leagues. Roberto Campos is years away. Christian Santana is years away. I mean, Jace Jung is three years away, maybe, two. We need players now, not three years from now. Year seven of a rebuild, you cannot have this type of de deadline. You need to get better. Getting pitching isn't going to be... You can get pitching whenever. Pitchers are so easy. They're so, mm. Pitchers are like running backs in football. If you have good people around them... They will succeed. Bats are the hardest thing to come by. Take a chance on a young hitter in a system. And maybe try and develop them. Like we can never do in the past. But maybe we'll hit on one. But this is just one of many reasons why Al Avila should never be at the helm of a baseball team again. If any organization ever hires him, or if the Tigers even ever fire him, which might not ever happen. But he should never be working for a professional baseball team, ever again. It's ridiculous. Year 7 of a rebuild, we're 22 games under 500, about to be 23. I get it, injuries happen, but you gotta hold people accountable, and nobody's being held accountable for this season. Like Scott Cobal, garbage. AJ Hinch, garbage. I mean, Mike Hesman, garbage. It's 
and everyone loves, loves to single out players for struggling. How come they don't struggle when they're in the minor leagues? How come they don't struggle when they're in Toledo? Like Riley Green didn't struggle in Toledo. Torkelson didn't struggle in the T Toledo. But as soon as they come up here, they struggle and don't get any better. It's because our coaches forget that they, need, they need have to do a job and actually continue to develop these players. This is why nobody wants to play for this trash organization. This is why no, this trash organization can't develop talent. Never have been able to, besides pitching. Our best developed hitter in the last 20 years is Curtis Granderson. And we ended up trading him for Austin Jackson. Second best hitter, Nick Castellanos. He was awful here until his last season when he would only fly out to deep to left center field. But Alavilla needs to go. They need to fire everybody. Start over. Get somebody in here who will spend money. Get Give Aaron Judge a blank check. Sign him. That's how you fix this team. Not by getting players that nobody, no teams want. They'll stop picking up people like Trace Thompson. Nobody wanted him. Okay, he's good. He's doing good in L.A. Who cares? Everyone does good in L.A. But Robbie Grossman should have been gone two months ago. Scope should have been gone two months ago. Candelario should have been should have been gone two months ago. These guys are not going to help you get win. Twenty two games under five hundred. You're not winning with those guys. Get rid of them. Stop being all buddy buddy with them. Stop caring about their feelings. Get rid of them.